Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, I have something a little bit, might be a little boring to be honest, but we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna do a how-to video on how to clean a deer. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away. We got this old girl yesterday, get her hung up in the garage. I'm gonna show you how I skin a deer Everybody does a little bit differently, but this is what works best for me. Obviously, these are already field dressed, so may have some hair, but let's get to it. All right, so what I did is just two slits right here, back and leg, so we put her on a gamble, get her up high. And then we're gonna do a cut around each leg. That way we start pulling all the skin back. When you make your cut around the tendon right here, you make a cut around this tendon right here, try not to go too deep to actually slice into that tendon. You just want to get the hair around it. Then we're going to continue uh, where we slice the gut open to field dress it. You continue right up the back, just like that. And then come in here, any spot's good if you're not saving the hide. All the way up here to that cut and both sides. Just like that. Now I just start peeling the skin back. You want to try not to get fur on your meat, but it's not the end of the world. It just takes a longer process afterwards. You know, just keep coming all the way around. Once you get to a good point, you should be able to pull most of it. Not to just make small cuts just to free up some of the skin, but you should grab a good grip on there. Pull it down. Any spot that it starts hanging up, just use your knife and cut away some of that connective tissue. We're gonna catch back up on this side. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So once you got down past the tail now, a lot of it is real smooth. You can kind of just grab one side with your, or one piece of fur with your hand. This is usually my dirty hand, and this is my clean hand. Then I'll make a fist. Just bring it down. Now you will have spots like in here, you get connected tissue. You can use your knife just to free those up a little bit. I'm gonna free up the belly area. Piece of grass. Now 
And then when I get to right about here, I like to bring over our front legs. You got the knuckle right here. I'll come down a few inches. Just make a ring all the way around. Then I like to cup it like a taco. Push all that loose skin up. Get your knife in there. Follow your knife all, all the way up the leg to the armpit. Maybe. Come in here to the middle. Bring it up the middle. I'm going to take my brisket. All the way down. Right there's our entrance wound. Try to save as much meat on the carcass as you can. Exit wound. Now that cut we made up earlier going to allow us to bring our hide right on this side of the shoulder. That kind of got a little messed up by the shot. Now the reason I have a clean hand and a dirty hand, or dirty hand, clean hand, this has dirt and blood on it. I'm gonna do whatever I have to to not touch the meat with this hand. This is gonna be the any hand that I touch the meat with. I'm just gonna work it all the way down. Make sure your initial cut down here. And then just help me out. I'll put it between my legs just for an extra extra grip. You can always use 550 cord or a rope or something like that to tie it off. Separating that skin. And once I get down here, I got a little bit loose. Usually you can grab a hold of it. Pull down. That frees up most of your shoulder. I do that same thing over here. We got our brisket.
And we all know does don't have a lot of meat on their neck, so I don't really focus on that stuff too hard. Get it to right about there. I'm trying to save as much meat on there as possible, but sometimes it just likes to stick to the skin. And dig in around the neck. Disconnect the esophagus. All the way around. And you always want to have a nice little saw. It makes life way easier. And that's done. We're gonna keep that to the side because I might grab the jaw from it and uh, try to age it because she did seem really, really, really old. But that's essentially how do you skin a deer. Um, nothing too, nothing too uh, complicated about it. All right, y'all. Well, that's pretty much how you skin a deer. It's not too hard. Hardest thing about it is keeping all the hair off of the actual deer itself, which is, I fail at every time. But that being said, hope you all can actually learn something from this today and get out there and skin it yourself. So I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Psych! All right, well, I was gonna end the video, but I almost forgot to take the legs off. So I'll show you guys how to do it. You got this knuckle right here. Bend it a little bit, take your knife. Got that, and then you go all the way around. All you're doing is releasing all of those tendons and ligaments and everything else like that. Then you're gonna bend it up, look for where the knuckle separates. Somewhere in there. Can't see, so I'm going by Phil. Oh, we're a little too far back. separate it and get in there and do a butcher job like I usually do. Twist it a few times. Got a few ligaments there that I forgot about. Just like that. And all I do is repeat the process on the other side. Done. All right. Now I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.